buds, come along with me to the Garden of Growing, where we always have fun and we grow by knowing. Let's go! There you are. Thank you for joining me in the Garden of Growing. If for those buds who don't know me, my name's Miss Amber, and I love to learn about all of the things in the Garden of Growing. There's so much to learn about in the Garden of Growing. Let's take a look at my garden pail and see what we're going to learn about today. I see some gardening tools. We're going to learn about gardening today. This is so much fun. This is called a trowel. That's a fancy shovel that helps us prepare the soil for plants and flowers. And you can dig small holes with it and it helps us to be able to handle our seeds and our bulbs for plants or flowers with care. So it's like a very small shovel just for the garden. Can you say trowel? Good job, buds. This is a hand rake. Rakes are great for getting the soil ready too. Soil is really important for planting our seeds in. They need a safe place to grow, just like we've talked about before. Let's see what else is in the garden pail. I see some seed packets. Let's count together how many seed packets I have in my pail today. I have one, two, three, four, and five. Great counting, buds. As you can see, there are a lot of flower seeds in these packets. Take a look. Look at all of those beautiful colors. I think we'll have a beautiful flower garden. Sometimes I plant some vegetables too, but today we're going to talk about planting flowers in my flower garden. So let's talk a little bit more about gardening tools and the things we need to do to have a successful garden, whether it's flowers or vegetables or other types of plants. So you can see, I usually wear my gardening gloves. That protects my hands when I'm working outside, just in case there are any thorns or any icky bugs that I might not want to touch with my fingers. They also keep my hands clean while I'm working. And if I'm using different tools in the garden, they keep my hands from getting any blisters or anything like that. So gardening gloves are very important for working outside in the garden. What you might not see each week are my gardening boots. Boots help me walk around in the damp, wet garden so that I don't get my shoes muddy. And they help me move around well while I'm doing all of the hard work that it takes to plant a successful garden. So we talked a little bit about our trowel and our hand rake. I took my gardening gloves off for now. There are some other important tools that we need for our garden. So. One of those is a watering can or a garden hose so that our plants can get some water. Now, if you don't have a watering can, you can also use a garden hose in your garden. When we start planting our flowers or our vegetables, it's important that we start with something small for them to grow in rather than just starting the seeds right in the ground Sometimes that's not the best idea to help them grow well. So oftentimes we'll use small containers like these planting pots. Then as the plants get a little bit bigger, we can go ahead and use bigger pots similar to these. Or sometimes we can use a planter that looks like this if they're staying inside for a while before we go ahead and transfer our plants out into our garden or our outdoor area that we might be using. And it's really important that we take care of the soil and whatever area that is has great sunlight so that our plants can grow really well. There are a few important steps 
for planting a garden, whether it's for flowers or vegetables or whatever other plants you decide to grow. Our first step is to prepare our soil. That's the dirt that our garden will grow in. So we have to get some healthy dirt and get it ready for our seeds. So first we start by digging some holes to plant those seeds in. And then we go ahead and get our seeds for whatever we'd like to plant. As you saw, I have some flower seeds, so I'm going to try to grow a beautiful flower garden soon. And we take those seeds, we go ahead and we put them into that soil. Then it's time for our watering can or our garden hose to water our seeds so that they can begin to grow. Once our seeds start growing, it's really important that they have sunlight and a safe place so they can get bigger and better and they can blossom and bloom. So those are the basics of gardening. Let's see what our project is today. Let me go ahead and check my garden pail to see. It looks like we have some scissors to work with today. We're going to make a watering can project. So if you don't have scissors, go ahead and ask your parents if you're allowed to use some. If not, you can just draw with your crayons or markers or colored pencils and use whatever tools you're allowed to use. We're going to go ahead and try to make a beautiful watering can project. So let's go ahead and get our supplies. Let's go ahead and see if we have any other supplies in my gardening pail for our craft project. I have some glue and some yellow construction paper and some white paper. I'm going to make a yellow watering can to match the one that I have here in my garden today. You can use whatever color you'd like or you can do a bunch of different colors Whatever you want to do, it's your watering can. So if your adult allows you to use your scissors, you can go ahead and get your scissors. And we're going to make a little circle to look like the tip of the watering can. We call that a spout. That's where the water comes through to give our plants a drink. So I'm going to go ahead and take a crayon and make a little circle. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut that circle out. Now, if you looked closely at the spout of my watering can, it had small dots in it. So I'm going to take my crayon and put a few little dots on my small circle. So it looks just like the watering can that I have here. I'm going to set that aside. Now I need a long piece just like this to make the rest of the spout. So I'm going to go ahead and make a very long triangle. So first I made a circle. Now I'm making a long triangular piece to look just like my spout. Just like that. Great work, buds. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside as well. Now, we need to make the big part of the watering can here. I'm going to make a rectangular watering can. So now I made a circle, a triangle, Let's make a big rectangle for that water to be stored in to water our plants. My rectangle looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start to glue the pieces of my watering can onto a white piece of paper. So first I'm going to take the large rectangular piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue that right down.
How's your watering can looking? How well do you know all of your shapes? It's really important to practice all of our shapes. First we have our rectangle. Then we're going to go ahead and take our triangle to make it look like a spout. I'm going to point mine somewhat upwards. And then we're going to go ahead and put our circular piece on. Right now, it should look something like this. The spout is pointing upward. We have our rectangle, triangle, and circle. Good job, buds. Now, the last part, if you see my watering can right here, is the handle. That helps us to hold it as we tilt the water over to come out of the spout to water our plants. So let's go ahead and make a little semicircle for our handle. If you want to do a square handle instead, sometimes squares are easier or rectangular, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to make almost like a letter C for my handle and then I'm going to glue it down just like I glued the rest of my watering can down. You're doing great, buds. What color watering can are you making at home? I bet it's looking great. Your watering can should look something like this now. Great job, buds. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my black crayon and make a little semicircle at the top of my watering can to make it look like it has a round top like this one here. Just like a happy face. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my black crayon and color that little semicircle smiley face in. So we talked about how in gardening we need to dig, plant the seeds, water, and then of course the plants need sunlight to grow. So to remind us of some of those things that we need, in addition to the watering can, let's put some brown dirt underneath it, like we sat the watering can on the ground in the garden. So I'm going to take my brown crayon and just color some brown dirt on the floor or on the ground of my picture for the watering can to sit on. Now that I did some brown dirt, I'm going to take some orange and yellow to make a nice bright sun up in the sky above the watering can. So you can take yellow or orange and make a sun of your own. You could make a round sun, a half circle sun, any kind of sun you'd like. I'm going to make a half circle with some beautiful rays shooting down towards my watering can. Sunlight is so important for our gardens and for us. Now your project should look a little bit something like this. I have my sun in the corner, my watering can, and my brown dirt on the bottom of my picture. Great job, buds. Now if you want to, next to your watering can, some people call it a watering pail too, I'm going to put some little sprouts in the brown dirt. So I'm just going to use a little bit of green and make little tiny sprouts coming up out of the brown dirt. Just like this. 
See the green sprouts? There they are. That's a name for a little plant as it's starting to grow, a sprout. Can you say sprout with me? Good job, buds. You're learning so much about gardening. You're doing such a great job. Now, let's make some water dropping down from the spout of our watering can onto those little sprouts. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of blue and do a couple of little droplets falling down onto my flower sprouts. It should look something just like that. Great work, buds. And there you have it. There's our watering can. So that project is a great reminder of all the things that we need for a garden to grow. We need good soil or dirt. We need some water. We need our seeds or our plants. And we also need our sunlight. So, buds, I hope you get a chance to try to grow some things on your own with or with your parents' help. I'm going to try to start a flower garden over the next few weeks. So hopefully we'll get to take a look at that and see how well all of my beautiful flowers are growing. So make sure you tune in to take a look so that you can find out about all the things that are going on in the Garden of Growing. Don't forget, I love to see all of your projects at home, so ask your adult if you can go ahead and post it on our Instagram or our website, boogiebudbunch.com. I love to see what everybody's doing at home, and I like to show during my episodes some of the work that some of my viewers have sent in. Buds, it's always so great to see you. I hope you remember everything that you learned about gardening today and all of the cool tools that we use in the garden. In addition to the tools that I showed you, there are a lot more that gardeners use for successful gardens. Gardening is so much fun and there's always something new to learn about making your garden grow better. So, remember, when you leave the garden, I want you to go ahead and put on your looking glasses. Let's see what color looking glasses I'll put on today. I'm going to put on my blue ones today. When you leave the Garden of Growing, make sure you take a look around and see all the things around you. I bet you'll see some beautiful flowers starting to bloom in your own garden or your neighborhood. So take a look around and see what types of flowers or plants you might see. Maybe your parents or grandparents or neighbors or friends have some vegetable gardens growing too. It's important to grow vegetables so that we have something healthy to eat so that we can grow up big and strong just like the plants that we're taking care of, right? So take a look around you when you leave the Garden of Growing and see what types of things you see growing around you. And always remember, no matter what bud you are or what bud you see, you can grow to be any kind of bud you'd like to be. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye.